some huge fall guys season seven leaks just dropped today and i'm here to go through every single leak with you and give my perspective as a developer to say what i think each of these leaks means for the game of fall guys going forward into season seven with this season epic and media tonic are starting things over from the beginning the next season will not be referred to as season seven but it will be known as Symphony Season 1. And this is Symphony Season 1's launch event. Ready, set, go. And as you can see here, you can see the different challenges and what they currently have as the milestones down at the bottom. Now these may be subject to change, but right now these are the different things you could expect to unlock. One thing to note here is if you look at all the different text here, you see where it says SS1 in all the different text fields, that's denoting Symphony Season 1. We may have a new format for the season, with it being Symphony Season 1, but that doesn't mean it's short on new levels. If anything, this season might have the most new levels of any season so far. If you look at this list here, there are 8 new levels. Let's take a look at what these levels appear to be. The first up, 1v1 Volleyfall. I have to speculate, you know, some sort of 1v1 Volleyball. Pretty obvious there. Next, we have Blast Ball Arena Survival. Pick up the Blast Balls and throw them to knock out other beans? Sounds like a dodgeball type game. Gauntlet 9. Race through the obstacles to reach the finish? Not very clear. I think we're going to have to wait for more information on that one. Hexaring? Be the last bean on the rotating ring of tiles? Interesting. So probably some sort of hex that also spins. Sounds like a good level to me. Again, hexaring not final. This seems similar to roll out and roll off, where one is the final version of essentially the same level. I imagine this is what they're doing here with hexaring and hexaring not final. Up next, we got hoops revenge. Bounce through the hoops to score points. You gotta think this is something like Hoopsie Legends, but loaded with lily pads you can bounce off of. If that's not the idea, I'm gonna be disappointed because I love that idea. Then the one I'm most excited for, Short Circuit 2. Navigate the obstacles and race three laps around the course. I love Short Circuit and the idea that they're gonna take the multi-lap race format and expand it into another level is super exciting. I'm very curious to see where they go with this. Last but not least, we have Spin Ring. Dodge the obstacles to avoid falling into the slime. What's coming to mind for me here is something similar to Block Party, but rather than it just being a straightforward dodging challenge, you're running around the edge of a ring trying to stay alive. This could be completely incorrect, but it makes sense in my head. Let me know in the comments below which of these eight levels you think will be your favorite in the upcoming Symphony Season 1. Now, we don't have a ton of information about them, so I'm sure as we start playing them, our opinions might change, but I am curious to hear what you all think based on just this information here. With this reset of the seasons, going to the new Symphony seasons, there appears to be a new store and a new type of currency. I'm going to break down these five lines here because it may not seem like very much, but I think it's a big indicator of where Fall Guys is going as a game. If you look here in this first one, Fame Tier Skip. Fame Tier Skip seems very innocuous, but what does that remind you of? Other games with battle passes where you can pay to jump ahead one tier in the battle pass. Next, you see Fast Track 20 tiers. Again, just like every other game, especially from Epic, you can pay to jump ahead 20 tiers in the battle pass and unlock everything at once. This next line here, free for founding players. And all it says is free for founding players. You might think you can't glean too much from that, but I think in this leak, this is the single most telling line. What this means to me is that going forward, the battle pass is not going to be free and it is gonna cost currency to continue buying the battle pass in future seasons. But Mediatonic and Epic don't want the players who spent 10 or $20 for the game to all of a sudden feel like they're getting screwed over. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna give you this battle pass free for founding players. But that's weird 
If it's free for founding players, does that mean it's not free for everybody? Exactly. So if you look down two lines, IAP disclaimer default, all primos purchased on one platform may not be redeemable on other platforms. What are primos? Well, I think it's pretty clear at this point, primos are going to be the currency above kudos that you can only get with real money that are used to unlock certain things, probably very exclusive skins, and also the battle pass. At this point, it is almost a 100% guarantee that Fall Guys will become a free to play game in the upcoming Symphony Season 1. And thanks to Pancake on Twitter, who if you look down in the description is the source for all this leaked information, so definitely go follow them on Twitter, we can see what the primos look like and how much they cost. Looks like a small pack of primos costs you $7.99 for a thousand, which is probably how much it costs to unlock the battle pass if you're not a founding player, all the way up to $79.99 for 13,500 primos. This right here is probably the biggest part of the leak. Now let's go ahead and skip down line three where it says IAP disclaimer Microsoft. Kudos you purchase from the Microsoft store can be used on Xbox, PC or mobile, but can't be transferred to or used on other consoles. That right there tells me Symphony Season 1 is going to be available on Xbox. Next line, IAP Disclaimer Nintendo. Kudos you purchased from the Nintendo eShop can't be transferred to or used on other platforms. That tells me it's coming to the Switch. So right there, if you look at those two lines, Fall Guys will be available on Xbox and Nintendo Switch at the beginning of Symphony Season 1. The other thing of note from these different lines is there is an IAP Disclaimer Epic, but there is no IAP Disclaimer Steam. Does this mean in the upcoming Symphony Season 1, you will no longer be able to use Steam at all? I think that's to be determined and we don't know for sure. Perhaps Steam falls under this IAP Disclaimer Global, but I would not be surprised if once the new season starts, you will have to launch the game from the Epic Games Store. Another part of this leak is something called challenges. While it's not completely clear what challenges are at the moment, we can at least look at them and take a guess. Some people have speculated that this is going to be a sort of ranked mode for Fall Guys where you can compete against people and basically get to higher ranks that'll give you different titles like Rookie, Contender, Squad Mate, Challenger, or Athlete. What I kind of think it is, is similar to Fortnite where you have, you know, the different challenges throughout the course of the season. So as you can see here, daily, monthly, seasonal, weekly, and then also completed. So at the beginning of the season, you'll get a whole bunch of challenges and you try to complete them all. And as you complete them, your challenge rank will continue to go up. And I don't know if that'll be some sort of title that's visible to other players, or perhaps it'll be a part of your name tag. This one's still definitely up in the air, so we will see what happens and how this evolves, but definitely something to keep your eye on when it comes to challenges in the upcoming season. This leak for Symphony Season 1 really had it all in it. We got Xbox and PlayStation release. We got free to play. We got something called challenges. We have eight new levels, but you're probably wondering, well, when is this coming out? When are all these great things coming out? When is Fall Guys basically relaunching the game? The answer, probably sometime in early March. You can see here, the Ready, Set, Go event begins March 5th, ends on March 8th. That's a little over a month away, at least from the time that I filmed this video. It's not entirely clear if the new season will launch with this event or if it will shortly follow. Either way, it doesn't seem like we'll have too much time until this new world of Fall Guys begins. If you're still here, that means you found the video pretty helpful. So definitely go ahead, click that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with any more Fall Guys news that is coming down the pipe. I also do a fair amount of live streaming. So if you want to come play with me and hang out, I would love to have you there and I can't wait to see you.